Papateki lovers, it's about 78 degrees on a beautiful June 2018 morning. Uh, today we're going to be looking at some stuff. We've got some uh, hammer gear stuff out here, but primarily what we're interested in looking at here is some of our simply light design hammock and additional light design gear from Simply Light Design. So I'm going to be setting it up and we're just going to take a look at a couple different configurations and proof of concept and uh, we'll get some weights and stuff later on but primarily I'm just trying to get this stuff set up and I apologize there's dogs and mowers and jets and stuff flying ahead so just just stick with me all right so let's take a look at this stuff one of the things we're going to look at today I've got the uh, Simply Light Designs hex tarp right there we'll be taking a look at that um, and I've got the Simply Light Designs gear bag Simply Light Designs hammock slug, Simply Light Designs tree hugger straps, and a custom made uh, suspension that I created using Dyneema. Got a couple items, other items here uh, Thermarest warmer, um, Big Agnes inflatable stuff sack, uh, and Thermarest X Light small, uh, Simply Light Designs pillow, uh, Bear Paw Wilderness Designs bathtub floor. Simply Light Designs uh, peak bag, and then this is the uh, Simply Light Designs uh, custom trail layer, and of course some, a couple other things. This is Arrowhead equipment, storage bag, and I'm going to set up a couple different configurations for uh, you all today. Again on this beautiful day, and uh, just showing you guys the suspension that I got going on here. I've got some uh, tree huggers girth hitched around some um, Dutch hooks. And then coming down to some Dyneema that I got from Arrowhead Equipment. And down here you can see that, uh, if I can get it to focus, that I've got some um, <clears throat> prussic knots running to some uh, Dutch fleas. So these fleas are this quick allows me to quickly hook it up to this prussic. And then if I don't want to use my suspension for this setup, I can just, you know, use running around a tree if I have to. Coming down to the Simply Light Designs uh, tarp inside of some Wilderness Logics uh, snake skins, uh, see through no see them. And in this setup here, I've got it so that you can, and I apologize for the dogs. So, what this allows me to do, this Prusik knot, allows me to slide and tighten up the tarp. So I'm using my suspension to hold the tarp with the hammock, uh, following Derek Hansen's recommendation, very similar to a Hennessy hammock, uh, but with still a 30 degree angle. And I'm using these uh, Dutch fleas as backup in case I want to wrap it around a tree. Here it is, the uh, Simply Light Designs trail layer. And again, I apologize for the dogs and the jets. And um, my suspension here is just simply a Beckett hitch with a carabiner safety to keep it from um, accidentally being pulled through and uh, I've got a, a Hennessy storage on the end there as well as an Arrowhead equipment storage on the end there and you can uh, pay a little extra and have Jared put zippers on both sides that way you can reach out and adjust your quilt from either side in the middle of the night these are uh, YKK 5 zippers Now what are we working with here? We're working with uh, some Hexon uh, 2.4. So this is some um, durable material. It's it's really nice material. It's not as uncomfortable as you think it would be. It's actually quite nice and is very durable. Um, it's not going to give you the best weight for your ultralighters out there, but you'll see why in a little bit why I chose this particular fabric. Now in this setup here, the net will unzip and go around uh, to the other side and you can bring it all the way down and uh, Jarrett includes a storage bag at the foot end here so you could stuff that in there so essentially you could have this as an open hammock so let me go ahead and do that so you can take a look at that right, so here we are with the net off hanging out in the Simply Light Designs trailer and you see I've also got the Simply Light Designs peak bag very lightweight really nice and great reach 
And you can see our Trailhaven tarp from Simply Light Designs. Wrapped up. And here we are just chilling in the backyard. There's the net stowed in the, in the uh, stuff sack in the end down there behind the uh, Hennessy uh, storage bag, which is great, by the way. Well, let me get you a shot of this thing uh, from outside of the hammock. This is what the uh, trail layer looks like with the net pull back. Now I added some extra clips here and uh, some pullouts. So let's take a look what it looks like with the pullouts. We have the uh, trail layer pulled out. Uh, I think I got these two millimeter bungees from Paracord Planet. And it really gives you a good view of what um, this hammock looks like with the amount of space. It should be a 60 inch wide hammock, 11 foot long. Again, this is the, the 2.4 2. hexon fabric. It's soft to the touch and it's a, a, a firmer lay, closer to a, like a double layer 1.6 hexon if you were to double it up. What the trailer layer looks like, all pulled out. with the net deployed. Looking at the hammock in, um, I would guess you'd call it winter mode. And it, what we're looking at here is a, a custom inside argon shield uh, that I had Jared, you know, make for me. I said, hey, I got this, this idea, let's do this. And uh, <clears throat> he's more than willing to work with you. And this, came from an idea that uh, originally that we had with short round reviews where we came up with an outside winter shield and I said well I want one that's on the inside so this is what it is inside the hammocks uh, an argon shield that uh, that is uh, zipped on and it's completely removable so inside while you're just chilling out and let's say you got the net out and all of a sudden it gets cold well you could just uh, deploy this argon shield and have full coverage and you can still access the outside while it's zipped on so just to show you here you can quickly uh, unzip it from the inside get as much air as you need and then zip it up quickly let me show you what that looks like here all right, so here we are uh, hanging out in the Simply Light Designs trail layer, and we are looking at the Argon interior and exterior um, windshield. And let's say we, you know, it's completely removable, but let's say we went ahead and preemptively zip, zipped it on, attached it to the inside zipper. And we go to bed, and it's like, oh, 65, and we're enjoying the breeze. And we go to sleep, and all of a sudden we wake up, and it's like 35 degrees, and the wind's kicked up. And you're like, man, it's cold. Well, without having to get out of the tent, I mean, out of the hammock, <laughs> think of it like a tent. You could just uh, reach up, deploy it. There we are, that little uh, vent holes there. And there's one on the other end too. It's getting warm in here. The reason you're uh, in a hurry or you're feeling extra lazy and you don't want to zip it on the inside, well, guess what? You can also attach it to the outside. Uh, what I did is uh, I had Jared sew me some extra loops and then I attached some clips to these tie outs so I had to request these tie outs also be sewn. I say hey Jerry can you sew some loops right where the tie outs would be so I can add some clips and you know you just get in there uh, unzip it and then you just clip clip it clip, clip and you've got your winter windshield fully deployed on the outside if you're in a hurry and also there's this shock cord which was from the original outer windshield designed it carried over to this 
so that's 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 a really nice option to have right there yeah, I just wanted to share with you my simply light designs um, hammock pillow it's packs up to nothing and it's just just the right size for uh, keeping your neck supported you may want to check that out We're back and uh, <clears throat> I've got my uh, hammock gear 20 econ um, hooked up so you can see what does it look like the trail layer with the hammock gear econ in there and also have the uh, hammock gear econ top quilt and uh, the reason why I'm setting this out is not to review hammock gear but to take a look at the uh, stuff sack or uh, slug bag for the uh, from Simply Light Designs which will pretty much encapsulate everything. So let me... Oh, and, and also, while I got this out, I, I also utilize these clips to attach to, <clears throat> with some shock cord, to the uh, the tie-outs there on the hammock, hammock gear under quilt, just to help keep it in place where I want it during the night. Okay, thanks for staying with me. I've got these Simply Light Designs. Uh, I think he calls it stuff bag. I don't remember exactly what he calls it, but. Some people might know, some people, some of you might know it as a slug, but I've got the regular 11 foot. It's nylon, so we're gonna see if we can fit um, everything that's in there. The top quilt, under quilt, pillow, uh, the bungee cords, the. Hennessy storage stuff sack with the argon shield in it head bag and we're gonna see if we can have it all fit in there here it is the uh, simply light designs hammock stuff sack uh, tube slug I'm gonna look it up on the website see what they call it that's what it looks like hanging on the head end um, and we're gonna try and fit all that in there hey, yeah so uh, wow it all fit and uh, I mean I did it in like just seconds just had to squeeze some of the air out of the uh, the hammock gear uh, quilt so there's two hammock gear um, quilt 20 degree quilt one's on top one's on under and it all fit inside this simply light design he calls it a, a hammock quilt catch-all is what he's calling it um, and uh, yeah I mean you know just put everything in there and throw it in your backpack um, let me see what it looks like in the backpack. Okay, there it is. The hammock quilt catch-all. On the ground, I'm going to fit everything into my Montreal Company LT70 bag. Wish me luck. Okay, we're back. And, uh, yeah, it, it's in there. And I don't even have it compressed all the way down. Uh, took, like, 20 seconds to get it in there. So that is amazing. Yes, we have the slug, I mean our cat hammock quilt catch-all deployed back underneath our tarp and I'm just pulling it from this end just to see if it snags up or if it just drops out like it's supposed to. So far so good. Boop. There it is everything now it's reinflating itself of course you wouldn't want to store your quilts inside of that just when you get ready to go out awesome now this particular hex tarp here this is uh, <clears throat> charcoal gray xenon so this is a xenon fabric um, and there's our stitching, reinforced stitching, with our um, adjustments. Take a look at the fabric there. Now this is, uh, I want to say it's only 80 inch wide, 11 foot tarp. Taking a look here at the charcoal gray xenon, 11 foot by 80 you can see the uh, xenon there very well constructed already seen sealed got some heavy-duty uh, 
Oops on the end there. And then the, you can also add on some reflective tie outs. And then I added these uh, shock cords, uh, self adjusters on the end there. Uh, just because of this adjustment we here at the, have at the top. <clears throat> it's a beautiful looking tarp. All right, this in my hand is a uh, Thermarest hammock warmer. They make one for cots too. Um, if you read Derek Hansen's blog about it, it's uh, breathable and it weighs next to nothing. So because it is breathable, it makes it just that much better than say a space blanket. And you hang it on your hammock just like a uh, an underquilt, but they call it a hammock warmer because it's, it doesn't really have any insulation properties. What it does, it reflects your heat back. It'll get you down to about 68 degrees, depending on like uh, what sort of uh, material your, your hammock body is made out of. And also, it acts as a good underquilt protector in the rain, so, you know, you'd use it like that. Uh, and I suppose it would have some sort of blanket properties in an emergency. So let me just put this on here so you can see what does it look like. So here we are taking a look at the Thermarest hammock warmer. And this is the outside, and this is the inside. So you can see that it's reflective. Now, I've never had any condensation or sweat buildup in here, um, but this is great for a lightweight hike. You know, if you if you, you leave and it's 90 and all of a sudden it's like 70 degrees when you go to bed, you're like, man, I really wish I had something. This would do it. And again, it's also a great underquilt protector. Now, when it came, it didn't have any shot cord. It had a string. And I just thought that was terrible, so I just went ahead and, and you know, got replaced the string and replaced the clips and all that. Um, so let me hook it up here so for here you. It is guys. hanging next to the trail layer hammock. It's the uh, <clears throat> Slacker Hammock Warmer Thermo Capture by Thermarest. Um, let me put it underneath so you can see what it looks like underneath the hammock. All right here it is, the uh, warmer. And you just uh, attach it and adjust it just like you would any normal underquilt. And you can see the reflective material in there. And uh, you can move it out of the way, you know, like slip it over. Or you can also just, it slides forward if you want it to. And, like if it's a nice night and then it gets chilly, you can deploy that. Combine that with, uh, you know... Uh, winter uh, wind windshield or maybe you want to add some extra degree of warmth to your your already uh, you know insulated under quilt might be an option for you all right so here is uh, the bivy mode of this custom simply light designs trail layer hammock that Jared built for me and uh, one of the things I had him add on was to sew in some reinforced uh, D-rings onto the net and then I just put some mitten hooks and hook it onto some AM steel with some uh, you know prusik knots on both ends to pull those out and then of course I've got these tie outs in the end to stake out the ends there and so it makes a really spacious uh, bivy hammock and right now I just got one trekking bowl one trekking pole tied out and uh, the other end is just wrapped around the tree over there just for just for review purposes and um, <clears throat> the zippers um, because they uh, go all the way around it makes the uh, uh, opening on the front real easy so let me open that up I'm on a 70D um, bathtub bear paw wilderness designs floor and then the front end of the hammock uh, now becomes the front door and inside we're looking at the Demarest Neo X Lite Small and this is what it looks like inside plenty of room everything just goes over to the side and another great reason to have that uh, 2.4 hex on let's let's let me lay down so you can see what it looks like so you can see my feet on the end down there the rest of my body is on this 
pad. Definitely doable if I had to go to the ground. If you were six foot, this would probably be just pushing it. It's six foot in this particular mode, but it's definitely doable for sure. There's the head in there. Okay. Uh, also, one thing you can do on the head in here is if you got an extra clip and you know a hair tie, you could pull up the head in there a little bit to keep the bug net off of your face. So you remember our argon shield? Well, it also fits on the outside here of our bivy mode with some ventilation. Peekaboo, you can see inside. Now you don't see how it's inside. So here I asked Jared, I said, hey Jared, can you um, sew me some button slit holes inside of my argon shield so that I can uh, slide my D-rings through when I'm attaching in bivy mode? And he said, yeah, sure, no problem. So there it is. So uh, here's what the bivy mode looks like with the Simply Light Designs hex tarp. I guess you could call it a fly at this point. Definitely low to the ground, but if you had to go to the ground, definitely would be protected from uh, the elements. I also wanted to take a look here at the Simply Light Designs gear hammock. Now, right now I have it hanging underneath the hammock. Now, if you do it like this, you got to hang your hammock a little bit higher, or else you end up hitting your gear. You could just hang it solo in between two trees, depending on if you've got the waterproof zipper. Uh, in this case, this is the waterproof zipper. So you can see how that uh, looks. Now it came with uh, AM Steel Continuous Loops, but I swapped them out. Uh, just so that I could have this quick adjustment here. And it is huge on the inside. Let me go ahead and put some stuff in there so you can see. Alright, so here I have it uh, underneath the trail layer, just simply light designs, a gear hammock. And I've got it loaded down with a bunch of crap right now. i got my hiking poles, a steak bag, backpack, a peak bag with a bunch of crap in there, some other stuff in there. And uh, right now I've got it guide out um, to where it meets the tree. Now if you do that, you're going to have to put some... So maybe a water break somewhere. I mean, this might stop it, but you may need a water break. Additionally, you could also put it on there, dispension of the hammock, but then whatever amount of gear you have is gonna increase the load on your hammock too. So just some things to think about. Let me zip it up for you. Gear bag all zipped up with our stuff inside. And there's still more room in there for other stuff. Um, what about when you get in? Can you reach out and get stuff? Let's see. All right, so here I am hanging in the hammock. And you want to take a look here at the uh, the gear hammock underneath. And it's, just, you know, I probably should adjust it a little bit because with the under quilt on, it may get interfere in a way. But, you know, I can just adjust it right there however I want. And uh, I may need to hang a little bit higher too. With the gear bag being un un underneath the hammock, running tight on the space. But as you can see, you can re reach underneath the hammock and it's right there. Another possible um, scenario as to where to put your gear hammock is, is to run it as sort of a sidecar towards the foot end where you don't have your feet the opposite end. My feet are on this side for right now. On the opposite end of where your feet are and it just kind of just hangs out there. That's that same full gear bag 
as before and it's it's really not in the way at all I mean you know it's just kind of chilling up against the hammock and of course this suspension is running independently so that suspension runs all the way to the tree independently by of itself I may need to put some drip lines on there and, you know if it's under the tarp but that seems like a pretty decent place for it that keeps it out of the rain uh, probably access it if you want it to and then you don't have to worry about it rubbing underneath uh, sidecar sidecar mode running on the foot end of the hammock well, anyways this is the uh, uh, simply lace design uh, customs trail layer with uh, trail haven tarp uh, hex tarp um, sidecar pillow uh, both in bivy and hammock mode hope you guys enjoyed watching this review as much as I enjoyed putting it together so until next guy next time talk to y'all later bye